good morning youtube family welcome back or welcome to my channel thank you all so much for coming to check out my video this morning i am back 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 i am back i haven't put out a video doing a grocery haul for probably like almost two weeks now i want to say and honestly guys i just have not been in the mood to record i have been I don't want to say going through some things, but you know, my job has been jobbing, my teenagers been teenagering. So life has been a little bit crazy and I just have not really been in the mood um, to put out a video or to do any recording. Yes, I've gone grocery shopping several times. I grocery shop almost every single day, pretty much. I'm in the store for something, but I just have not been in the mood to do videos. I get up early, but I just haven't had the motivation, guys, to just get up and go to the store in the morning. But today I am back in the store and I am headed into Winco and I'm going in here to go pick up some fruit. Um, basically my husband decided that he wanted to do a juice cleanse like um or a fast or something like that that he's trying to do so he wanted me to go to the store to get um some things for him some cucumbers and apples and things like that and really this is around the time of the year that i start juicing in general um i got a juicer a couple years ago that my husband bought me for my birthday and um ever since i got it i just decide to juice like pretty much every summer and i'll juice for a couple months straight and then sometimes i do like you know on and off throughout the months but mostly in the summertime i tend to juice a lot so i want to go in here today um and just see what kind of fruit i can get see what's on sale see what kind of discounts they have going on in here today so guys let's go in here and see how much we can get i don't want to spend more than 80 dollars, which i don't think it should come up to close that close to that amount um there's a couple other things that i want to look at as well but mainly i'm in here just to get fruit so $80 is my budget, is my limit. I don't want to go over that. So let's go in here and see what we can find, guys. All right, let's go. Heading into Winco. It is cloudy out today. It was sunny for about a week. It was really nice. But today it's cloudy, overcast. But that's okay. I'm going to go in here and get everything that we need to get this morning. Walking in, they have the Calypso Lemonades, 98 cents. This one right here, I've tried the Southern Peach Lemonade. That one's pretty good. The only thing about those is they have a bunch of sugar in them, but they have some pretty good looking flavors. This one is Island Wave Lemonade. We've got Kiwi Lemonade, Strawberry, Paradise Punch, Pineapple Peach. That actually sounds good. But they have a bunch of sugar in them, guys. Or else I would get some more of them. They also have this one, this Ocean Blue Lemonade. So yeah, they have a few flavors. 98 cents right now on Winkle for those. They've got some mineral water down here. I've never seen these ones before. These ones are $1.18 a piece. Of course, they've got the cookies right here when you walk in, $2.48. There's some Ritz crackers over there for $2.48 as well. Grab a basket. They've got this pottery, these pots in here too. $19.98 for the large ones. Then they've got some medium ones for $14.98 and some small ones for $9.98. This is what these look like. I like to stop and look at this stuff walking in because you never know what you're going to find right here in this little spot when you walk in. But they have these little bites right here. I guess they individually did them, 98 cents for one. I don't know if that's a deal because I think for the box is like $3 and some change. So they're basically selling them individually for 98 cents, but they only have the chocolate chip and they have the party cake muffins. They have some power aids in here for 88 cents right now. These are sour power aids. Okay, so this one is watermelon lime. This is blue raspberry. And this one is green apple. I don't know about those, those are sour. Sour Power Aids in here for 88 cents. The Cascade Ice are actually on sale in here for 68 cents as well. That's not bad for those because usually they're either, as you can see, 89 cents or a dollar, um, depending if you go to Fred Meyer or Safeways. 
So like I said, guys, I am coming in here to get some stuff to um, pretty much start juicing. And um, yeah, my husband wanted me to grab a couple of things for him, for him to do his 21 day cleanse. Um, so that's what I'm in here for. I don't need much of anything in here today, but you know, if I find something, then I find something. So you know how that goes. They've got the hash brown patties in here. Those are $3.98, but that is only for the 10 count. I'm gonna try to go to grocery outlet sometime this week and see if they have a 20 count of hash browns. The last time I went, they didn't have them. The cherries are now out, guys. I am so happy that the cherries are now out. The cherries are $2.98 a pound, but I don't know. These ones don't look too great. I got some from where did I get them from? I think I got them from Fred Meyer um, like a week ago or the beginning of this week. I got them from Fred Meyer's and they looked way better. These ones don't look too great. I don't know. You guys can't really see those, but they don't look too great. So I'm going to pass on the cherries, but I am glad that they're out now. Oh, the mangoes are 68 cents a piece now. I want to say the last time I came, they were like a dollar and some change. Or I think I sent them at Walmart and they were a dollar and some change. So 68 cents in here right now for them. I think I'm going to get a couple of them just to add to like my juices or something. Because I don't really eat mango too much. Mostly because I don't like peeling them. But I will add them to a juice. I'm going to get two of them. They have sweet corn in here for 50 cents a piece. These are the ones you got to peel yourself. I don't need corn, but that's a good deal for those. 50 cents a piece because at Safeway and Fred Meyer's are either 75 cents or 67 cents. They have watermelon, but no one has seeded watermelons yet. I'm so tempted to get one, but I really want a seeded one. The seeded ones look a little bit different. They're like longer. These ones are, you know, just the regular ones. Um, the seeded ones are different shape so they don't have seeded ones no one has seeded ones yet but the watermelon is 58 cents a pound this winko that i came to this morning isn't as stocked as it usually is for the stuff that they have usually it's really really stocked but today it doesn't seem to be as stocked i do want to get one of these chopped kits the caesar salad i've been eating these lately um, with like some salmon and stuff like that. If you've never tried the chop kits, these are pretty good. They come with everything that you need in them. The dressing, the, um, they got croutons, the dressing, the grated cheese. It got cracked black pepper in it. So these are really good. So they still have the blackberries in here for a dollar and 28 cents. I'm going to get a couple of these. That's actually a good deal for the blackberries. They are still a dollar and 28 cents. My kids go through blackberries so quick and I don't mind it. I do not mind when it comes to them eating fruit, how quick they go through it. 90% of the time, that's what I'm at the store for is fruit. And I really don't mind, especially when it's only $1.28. I'm gonna get four of them. One of the things that my husband wanted me to grab was some cucumbers. They are currently 68 cents a piece. They don't have a whole bunch of them, but I'm gonna grab, he wanted me to grab seven of them. So I'm gonna see if I can actually find seven good ones. Okay, so I got my cucumbers and I got seven cucumbers. He wanted them pretty much one for each day. He's gonna do a seven day cleanse. I think he's gonna start with seven days and then eventually go to 21 days. But for now, he just told me to get seven cucumbers. I also want to get a bag of the five pound bag of carrots. These are $3.48. And I use these for juicing. And these are pretty big. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna grab one of these. Then I wanna see, they also have this bag of carrots right here, but that's too much. That won't even fit in my refrigerator. That is $14.98 for that. I don't need that many carrots. They also have a 10 pound, they also have a 10 pound bag um, right there, that's a 10 pound bag and that is $6.98. So I'm just gonna stick with the five pound bag. I wanna grab a couple of things of broccoli as well. The broccoli is $1.68 a pound. I'm not juicing broccoli, I'm just getting broccoli to cook. <laughs> it's 
So just so you know, I don't even know if you can juice broccoli. Have you guys ever juiced broccoli? Have you ever heard of juicing broccoli? I've never heard of it. And honestly, I don't think I would want to try to juice broccoli. Got my broccoli right there. Now, from over here, the other thing that I wanted to grab was some um, beets. Now, the beets, it doesn't say how much they are. Oh, here they are. The beets are $1.28 a pound. Now, when I went to Fred Meyer's a couple weeks back, they had the golden beets and they had the regular beets. And their beets actually looked a little bit better than what these ones look like. But because I'm not at Fred Meyer today, I'll probably try to get over there this weekend. I'm just gonna get one of the regular beets. Now, I usually only get like one big one like this when I'm juicing because beets go a long way. And if you are juicing and you add too much beets, they will definitely overpower um, whatever you're juicing. So I'm just gonna get one of these and this one will last me um, a little bit. Like, you know, you wanna use it before it goes bad, but it'll last me for a little while when it comes to juicing. So this one right here is the one that I'm gonna grab. Now coming over here to the apples, their apples are for the Fuji 198. All these ones are 198. Pink Lady, Granny Smith, and Honey Crisp. These are all 198 for a what three pound bag is what it is. So I'm going to get a couple bags of apples. I honestly rather have the Ambrosia apples, but but they don't have those ones in here. I seen those at Grocery Outlet, so I will probably have to go back to Grocery Outlet or um, Walmart. They also had them at Walmart to grab the ambrosia apples. But because I'm in here today and they're only $1.98, I'm gonna grab some of the Fuji apples. And then, let me see, this this bag looks good. And then I'm also gonna grab some of the Honeycrisp apples as well. And both are $1.98. They have these tomatoes in here, 98 cents for these little mini tomatoes. I would get something like that and then not even eat it. I would probably eat it like one or two times and then it'd end up going bad. Although that's not bad, 98 cents for those, for this bag. You know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get one and I'll find some use for them, I'm pretty sure. Chop them up, put them in my salad, something like that. Cause you can't beat that for 98 cents. Now, of course I have to grab bananas. I like to grab bananas when they're usually a little um, green, but it looks like these ones are all pretty much ripe. Uh, I don't see any that are too green. The bananas are 58 cents a pound. And I have bananas, but my husband grabs some bananas and I don't know, every time he grabs bananas, they seem to go bad pretty quick. I don't think he really pays attention. He just grabs them. And then the kids end up not eating them because they're too soft or something like that. And then they end up going bad. Pineapples are also in here, 248. I really like pineapple guys, but I keep buying them and then I'm not cutting them in time. By the time I go to cut them, they are already bad. I don't know why I have not been keeping up with my pineapples lately because I actually love pineapple. So I'm gonna grab some ginger root, 348 a pound for the ginger root right here. And I like to put ginger in some of my juices. There are a bunch of recipes that I have that call for ginger. And the only thing about ginger is if you are using ginger, you cannot use a lot because just like beets, it will definitely overpower it. And all you will taste is ginger and it will be not a pleasant taste. So when you're using ginger for juicing or anything like that, you have to use a small amount. So I'm gonna get one of these big ones right here. I also use ginger in my tea, so it will definitely not go to waste. I'm gonna come over here to the oranges. They only have four pound bags of oranges for $3.98. They're these ones right here. There's not many of them over here. And there's two, four, six, seven of them in here. So I guess that's not bad because I think if you're buying them individually, you're paying like 98 cents per orange. So $3.98 for a four pound bag and you get, I think it's seven. I think I counted seven. So there's seven oranges in there. The oranges are another thing that I'll be using for juicing. Yeah, see here we are, 98 cents a pound. So not a piece, 
these ones are 98 cents a pound so i think you're getting a better deal by getting the bag of them versus buying them individually i'm gonna grab my lemons from over here as always the lemons are 38 cents so i'm gonna grab about 10 of these all right i got 10 lemons and if you're wondering why i have so many lemons I've said before that I put lemons in my tea. I use it in a lot of my food. So usually every time I go to the store, I buy a bunch of lemons. So I'm gonna come over this way because I need to grab some waters. So their water is fully stocked today and I am glad because it's always a hit or miss when I come over here to get water. So I'm gonna grab five of these waters today. And I drink distilled water and I actually use lemon in my water and I also put trace mineral drops. I've said that before in one of my videos, um, but yeah, that's how I drink my water. I do not drink faucet water. Um, I do not drink any of the other kinds of water like the drinking water or the spring water or anything like that. And I use lemon and I use trace mineral drops to, I guess alkaline my water is what you would call it. So instead of buying alkaline water, I just make my own. So I was waiting for the guy that was stocking the strawberries to finish stocking. They are on manager special for $1.28 and they have a bunch of them. They're the Central West brand. I like the Central West. I feel like these ones always look a little bit better than the other ones. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm going to get a few of these. I think I'll get about five of them today. And that may seem like a lot, but my kids, like I said, go through fruit so fast and I can buy five of them and I can guarantee you that half of them will be gone before the end of the day. And like I said, I do not mind buying them at all because it's fruit and it's good for them. So that's what I do. I like to look at them and make sure they look good these ones don't look bad these ones look really good okay so I got five of the strawberries and then I got four of the blackberries those are right here yeah, 128, they have a little display of the blackberries right there as well. They have these Olipop drinks in here, $1.98. These are like prebiotic sodas. I've never tried these, but I always see them. They have the cream soda, the classic root beer, ginger ale, vintage cola, strawberry vanilla, and classic grape. I've never tried these. It says they support digestive health. I don't see how a soda can, but <laughs> I guess if they say so, right? But I've never tried them. Have you guys tried those Olipops before? If so, how do they taste? <laughs> they have all the Shasta sodas, $3.98 for those. They've got five pound bag of potatoes, $1.48. That is not bad at all. This is the bags of them. But honestly, guys, I have bought two bags of potatoes in the past couple weeks and both of them have been bad. So I don't know what it is with potatoes and me lately, but both of them have been bad. One of them, they were green and they never changed color. I had them for a couple weeks. They never changed color and I ended up throwing them away. Then I think when I went to Walmart, I bought another bag of them and my husband was cutting open a couple of them and he said they were just the smell, they were rotten. So I don't know, I've been kind of skeptical on buying um, potatoes ever since then. So I've been seeing all these different kind of drinks that they're coming out with. This one is called Sprite Chill. I have never heard of it. I don't know what the, it says cherry lime, chill cherry lime. Okay, so 538 for the 12 pack of Sprite Chill, cherry lime. Here's another drink. They have these limited edition lime and peach Pepsis. $5.78. This peach one actually sounds good. Would you guys try these? If I was a soda drinker, I would definitely try the peach one. 
Maybe not the lime, but the peach one definitely. And over here they have all the Mountain Dews, $5.48 too. They have come up with all different kinds of flavors. Now I've tried the Baja Blast. I remember exactly when that one came out. I was in high school, I wanna believe, when that one came out and I used to always get it from like Taco Bell. So I remember Baja Blast, but they've got this Baja Laguna Lemonade. Then they also have this Baja Point Break Punch and then Baja Blast, that one's just zero sugar. $5.48 in Winko for the 12 pack. So I was in um, Fred Meyer actually the other day. I didn't realize how expensive sodas are. Like these packs of sodas are super expensive. And Fred Meyer's, they were like $9 and some change. And I did not know they were that expensive. That is expensive for a 12 case of soda. I'm coming over here. The only thing I need from over here is some butter. And I grab the Lando Lakes butter. I've been eating this butter for a while. This is the olive oil and sea salt um, Lando Lakes. These ones are $3.48. I don't know why I started using that butter, but it has worked for me. I've seen people use this Kerrygold um, butter. That's pure Irish butter, pure Irish bread pure Irish butter, this Kerry Gold butter. I've seen people use that. I don't know what the big deal is about it. It says milk from Irish grass-fed cows, grass-fed cows. I don't know about all that, but these are $3.98, $4.20 for um, the salted and then unsalted ones are $3.98. I don't know, I think it's just um, people going off the hype, I don't know. I've never tried it. I've seen people use it, like watching TikTok videos and stuff like that. The waffles are only $2.18. My kids love the blueberry ones, so I'm gonna get a pack of the blueberry waffles for them. Just Dorito chips, mini chips, and then these are Cheeto mini flaming Hot Balls. Okay, so those are new to me. I've never seen those. Those are $1.98 in here. So here's another one of them new drinks that I'm talking about. This one is Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut. $5.48 for this. Creamy Coconut. That also sounds good. All right, guys. So I think I have everything that I need out of here today. I mostly just got a bunch of fruit and um, things to like juice with and everything. I got some blackberries and strawberries and stuff from my kids. Um, got some yogurt, some waffles that my kids wanted. Um, and then got a couple things from my husband that he wanted to do his juicing cleanse and all that stuff. It is actually juicing season, so I'm excited about that, ready to start juicing. So guys, I'm about to head to the register to go see how much all this comes up to. How much do you guys think it's gonna be? Leave a comment down below. Let me know, guys. All right? Okay, guys. I am back in the car. And let me tell you guys how much I spent. So, I got my receipt right here. So, my budget was $80, right? I said that I did not want to go over $80. And I only spent a total of $60.95. So, I am proud of myself, as always, for not going over my budget for not spending more than I needed to, for not getting other things that I did not need to get. There was a couple of things that I seen in there that I was like, ooh, this looks good. Maybe I should get these. Oh, maybe I should get these for the kids. But I told myself I was only coming in here to get the specific things that I needed. I did get one or two other items. I wanna say I got the waffles. Um, that was not on the, the agenda for the things that I needed. It was mostly just the fruit but that fruit does kind of add up but the strawberries were on sale or i won't say they're on sale the strawberries have been that price at winco for a while now a dollar 25 dollar 28 the blackberries a dollar 28 those prices are really really good and i will always stock up when i see prices like that especially since i know that my kids will go through it so fast and um i don't mind it like i said i don't mind my kids going through the fruit fast I don't mind it. I will always buy fruit for my kids, always buy fruit for my family because it's fruit, you know? So anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video, all right? Bye.